Hi and welcome to Academic Compliance Academy of Law and Economics. So in this video I'm going to try to solve a strategic form game with the use of the iterated elimination of dominated strategies method, also called IEDS. So what is IEDS? IEDS is a method that we can use especially when we have large games in a strategic format. So Let's imagine that we have two players, each of them might have eight or ten different strategies. Then instead of just finding the Nash equilibria, we can reduce the game and we can find the credible Nash equilibrium while using the iterated elimination of dominated strategies. So, but how are we going to do this? Well, look at the terminology because the wording actually reveals the method. So iterated elimination means continuously deleting something. What are we deleting? We're deleting dominated strategies. So not dominating strategies, but dominated strategies. So what we're looking for in a game here is a strategy that is inferior to another strategy, no matter what the other party, your opponent, plays of strategy. So we will look into this when we go into the game. There are two different ways to approach this IEDS. You can do it by strictly dominated strategies or weakly dominated strategies. Here we're going to do it by strictly dominated strategies. So when we do it in that sense by strict dominance, well, then it doesn't really matter if we start with player one or player two, but just be in, remember that if you're doing it by weakly dominated, that the party that you start with will act, can affect the result. So, but let's look at the method in a game structure. I put up here a strategic form game, two players, each have three strategies. I know I said a lot of strategies, but we're just going to do this as an example so you can learn the method. Now we will start at player one, comparing the different types of strategies and the payoff to see can we find a strategy that is inferior to another strategy. So player one has the strategies A, B, C. A will give player one the payoffs of minus five if player two chooses X, um, two if player two chooses Y, and Three, if player two chooses a strategy set. If we look at player one's strategy B, the payoffs will be one, 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 and the strategy C is zero, zero, zero. Now we will compare the strategies. So let's first try to look A versus B. So in the first one, if player two chooses X, player one will, by choosing strategy A, get minus five, if he chooses strategy B, the result will be 1. So here A is inferior of B. If player 2 chooses strategy Y, then strategy A would give a payoff of 2 and strategy B would give a payoff of 1. So here A is better than B. So because we can see this contradiction, we can already now state that a or B is not at this point inferior to each other. There's none of them that is worse off, no matter what player two does. So we must continue. Now let's try to compare strategy B versus strategy C. You could also do A versus C, like it doesn't really matter. So B gives player one a payoff of one, no matter what player two chooses to play. And strategy C gives player one zero, no matter what player two chooses to play. Therefore, we can state the fact that player C is inferior to strategy B, no matter what player two chooses. And therefore, we will do what the method says. We will delete, we will eliminate this strategy, strategy C, from the game. And then we will continue the process. What we know is that between A and B, there's no inferior strategy why we will change our focus to player two. So you can see here, I already deleted 
the, the strategy C by taking it out and doing, wiping it out with some black coloring here. And now we can focus on the rest of the strategies. We're now looking from the view of player two. Player two has the strategies X, Y, Z, and we will look at the payoff. So let's start just comparing X with Y. So X will give player two minus one or three, and Y will give player two two or two. So here is pretty clear. X will give a negative number and Y will give a positive number. So already here we can state that X is inferior to strategy Y no matter what player one plays. Therefore we can delete strategy X. Just before we go back to player one, let's just look at Y and Z. So at Z player two would get three and one, which is one is a below two and the other one is above two. So here we again have a relationship where none is inferior. So we will continue back to player one. Now we've deleted strategy C and strategy X. And you can see that the game becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. So player one can now choose between A and B. Before we knew that there was no, none of these strategies that were, was inferior to the other one. But we deleted strategy X, so let's look at the game now. A will give player one, two or three in payoff. B will give one no matter what player two plays. Therefore, we can already state that B is inferior to strategy A no matter what player two plays. And therefore, we can delete strategy B. Going forward, B is away now. We now look at player two because player one only has one strategy. So we have nothing to compare with. And we go to player two and say, okay, what is best Y or Z? And here we can see that it is set because that would give him uh, three instead of two. So Y is inferior. We can delete Y and we will go to the actual result by using the iterated elimination of dominated strategies. We have a result. It is strategy A, Z, and it will give the players the payoffs of 3.33 to each player. This is a Nash equilibrium. It's a credible Nash equilibrium. And this is a result when using the iterated elimination of dominated strategies. Stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and let's talk much more about law and economics.